hello internet. It's Monday, and as we've been doing for the last few Mondays, we're playing more Dave the Diver. I didn't get a custom pointer for it though, because I couldn't find anything that didn't seem super sketchy. Maybe next time. I think I just heard a dolphin. Hi, Ruben. Let's close this window so I can see chat better. All right. Did you get to do anything interesting on Sunday? Oh, ads. Oh, no. Oh, he's already back. Sweet. I think I should make a call first. Uh, who are we calling? Oh, right, Duff. We have to call the weapon shop. Ruben has cooked. What you make. Also, hi, Electron. Um, what's he want? We've already got this. We can't make this yet. You made canned corn. I would like to know more about this. Did you pick the corn yourself and put it in a can? Or did you take the corn that was in a can and make it into food? Eco Watcher. Don't see anything particularly interesting here. Who are we supposed to be calling right now? I have totally forgot. What is this? Oh, Marine Cut. That's where cards. It was corn, ca canned corn from the store. There wasn't any real corn. Just click the call button. They'll probably tell me. Okay, just, just call Duff. Arg. Why are you so angry, Duff? I ordered a limited edition Lay's Chan figure. But it hasn't come for over a week. Would you believe it? It's got a serial number and a limited edition only art book. Whoa, calm down a bit. Everyone seems upset with the deliveries having stopped. I think there must have been some kind of accident. To see what's going on, I will need the deep sea headlamp. Oh ho, well of course, I have one of those in my safe storage. He probably has a bunch of canned corn in his safe storage too. He's never going to eat it. But, you know, the guy you read on, not read, watched on YouTube about preparing for the end of the world said you need to have canned vegetables. Well, with Carnival, I'm the only one at home, so I needed to cook. But I can't give it to you for free. There's a condition. Is a condition money. Normally, that's how people condition giving things to other people is by money. Please find my Lay's Chan figure. It's in a pink delivery box. You'll know when you see it. Hopefully it's waterproof. I requested special care for the package, so it should not have been washed away. If the ship carrying it sank, it's likely to be somewhere nearby. Find it for me, and I'll give you the deep sea headlamp. I'll have to find... First, find the location of the sunken transport ship. Alright, let's go find the sunken transport ship and get this guy's figure. Ruben's mom was okay with canned corn and sausage rolls. That's good. Some parents would be a little bit pretentious about, you know, this doesn't seem like a proper balanced meal, but I mean, corn and sausage is most of what you need. It's got fat and protein and vegetable. A lot of fiber. All right, so we are diving. We are going to find the shipwreck. And we're going to find the Lay's Chan. Electron got Back to the Future soundtrack on vinyl. I have never watched Back to the Future. I really ought to do that one of these days.
Well, let me look for the other food in the house. Wait, did you cook the canned corn, like, right now? Is the canned corn in the room, as we're speaking? Gun enhancement. Yeah, I'll take that. Brown seashell. What's in the cooking pot? Olive oil. Woot. Gordon Ramsay would be proud of us. As with Jamie Oliver and basically everyone else who's a famous cook. We're all about their olive oil. Personally, I only really use oil for frying things, so, like, olive oil doesn't exactly work for that, because it's got a low smoke point. Katana! You would think the ship wrecked pretty close to the surface, right? But... Is that chance it's not? Ooh, that's a pretty fish. You'll be food. It's a red tooted trigger fish. What's in the box? Scooter. Scooter's nice to have. The music in this game is a vibe. It really is. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the, um... Oh. Auger. Nice. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the, um, B-side music from Celeste 64 to annoy Ruben. Fruit, bread, canned soup, mac and cheese without cheese. Black vinegar. Some vinegar just kind of tastes bitter or smell unpleasant. Let's see, there's an emergency exit. I mean, these look like tuna, right? Black and white snapper. How many berries did you get in the game? I don't know. I didn't play it for very long. Ooh. It's funny that the, uh... The lionfish is much more... Lion's main fish is much more aggressive than the shark. Ooh, he's fast though. I think he's decided he's not gonna mess with me. Which is good. Okay, there's some more oxygen. Most of the initials of GG on my arm? Yeah, it just says GG. I need it to fill space. I've still got 10 kilograms I can pick up. Yeah, nothing nothing complicated or, you know, heavy in lore. <laughs> Just bounced. I want to know what kind of fish you are. Just get in my pocket. Wow, he took a hit from the katana. The strongest fish. Clown frogfish. Oh, that's not food. It looked like GC, like GameCube. Yeah, maybe. Um, Ribbon's evil self would definitely cook canned corn in the future.
Let's see how much we can still carry nine more kilos. That's right there is another emergency exit. Keep that in my mental map. We really need to upgrade our harpoon, I think. Come here, frogfish. Hurting you doesn't mean anything if I don't get to eat you. I think Ruben's saying that whether it says CG or GG is unimportant. It's not that you do not matter, Electron. Let's see. Oh, you, you look big and mean. We found the sea. Sh we found the, the shipwreck. <laughs> there, my precious Lays Chan. <laughs> Bring it to me quick. Finish your mission. <laughs> Tentacle monster likes figures too. <laughs> what? Well, what was that just now? My Lays Chan. <laughs> she disappeared into the unfathomable depths. Man, that figure's crushed by now. It seems to have been some kind of giant life form. Please go and retrieve her. Wait, that obviously looks dangerous. Besides, the doors on the ship are all locked. I can't go inside. Do you really think I didn't think of that before concocting Lay's Chan rescue Lay's Chan's rescue plan? I'll provide you with my secret weapon, the gas cutter. Sounds like a Mega Man weapon. Yesterday was a parade in the city. Ruben went to get his will with his grandparents and waited two hours before something came. It does not sound worth it. Even at this moment, Lay's Chan awaits her master. Come to the boat, will you? This guy is incorrigible. We need to get away from the giant mean shark, though. He is bigger than me, and he will eat me. If I remember right, there was an emergency exit right here. Let's fill up on fish first, though. You know, as one does. Man, these fish take bullets like champs. Big-eyed scad. Ah, oh, you're back for more, huh? And I'm out of bullets. Ugh, oh no. Who's Lay's Chan, and who named it that? I have no idea. I do not know the answer to either of those questions. Big Shark's found a relocation. He's, he's coming in. Maybe because we shot all those fish and the blood got in the water? Okay, more meant in the world of the game, but yeah, I blame the devs. Yeah, the devs, they thought it was funny to have just sound like potato chips, Chan. The director of that in-game anime. 
Yeah, let's just keep going with that idea. I'm still having trouble calming down, just like Lazechan did when she first came face to face with Fenrir. Since you found the location, I'll reward you for it. I like to do honest dealings. Now then, let's begin the Lay's Chan rescue mission. Take this gas cutter. You'll see a spot that can be cut into when you reach the ship. There will be a button prompt. Ribbon has all the answers, just very vague. He has approximate knowledge of many things. Cut the weak point in the iron door, and you'll be able to enter the ship. Just retrieve the pink delivery box that has Lay's Chan from inside the ship. Should be simpler than you'd think, except for the giant shark, dude. Yeah. And the tentacle. Yeah, huge tentacle. Looks dangerous. Yeah, do, do you mean to say it's okay for Lay's John to expire in the darkness down there? Yeah, do this mission must not be delayed for a moment longer. <laughs> oh, alright, I get it. Oh well, I'll try going down there. Hey, we had our longest dive. 10, almost 10 minutes, 9.1, yeah, 9 minutes and 1 second. Hmm. Waterproof box. Acquired items can be stored inside, so items will be retrieved when leaving the water. Or a bomb. Or auction tank expansion, one time use. Nah. That was Ruben's life in the last couple days. I did even less than that. I completely wasted yesterday, did basically nothing. Gun, or do we have? Oh, huh? I hear a lot of noises from over there. Let's check things out. What? Ruben too, but he just mentioned one thing. Hey, why do you keep bothering these dolphins? Says the man with a regulator in his mouth. So you're the one who keeps interrupting our plans. I can tell just by your silhouette, because Dave is a well-designed character, apparently. You need to be taught a lesson. You better be ready. Uh, are these guys going to shoot me? Oof, I was just looking to scare them. Oh well, I'll have to see if I can defeat them. We're going to have to kill a man. Not what I signed up for. No more bullets. Except we got more bullets right here. That's awful. They bought guns to a harpoon fight. Well, so did I! <laughs> the music does go pretty hard, yeah. But again, we're in a hole murdering men. For dolphins. Ugh, we're retreating for the day. You'll hear from us again. They just swim off like I didn't just shoot them multiple times. They are cooking with every song, just more slow cooking usually, yeah. Do they have any shiny rocks to give me? 
Dave did it in very legal self-defense of dolphins. Uh, did they shoot first? I'm not sure if they shot first. Yeah, we'll just go with they shot first. Huh? They left something like an old charm. I should identify it later. Uh, we need to find more oxygen. Because we took a lot of damage there. And it's funny that the way to get more oxygen is to go deeper and look for tank refills. Maybe this will be a refill. We got a little lucky. Okay, there's an emergency exit. Ooh, it's a seahorse. Let's kill it. Never mind, we cannot kill the seahorse. That's probably for the best. I don't think anyone's gonna, gonna want to eat our seahorse sushi. Your Honor, with all due respect, you weren't even there! <laughs> this one legal trick. Lawyers hate it. Unless they're on your side. Okay, so Copper Ore doesn't really weigh that much. I've already heard you fish. Just, let's get this over with. Why are you making me do this, fish? Wow! Taking bullets to the face like it ain't nothing. The pirates won't sue you because even if they win, they will lose due to other crimes. Well, that's the thing. Is that you only get tried for one crime at a time. Uh, we found our sea grapes. Now I just gotta find a jellyfish. There they are. Sorry, jellyfish. Oh, hey, there's a spotted, what are they called? Oh, in Japanese, they're Chin Anago. But I forget what they're called in English. Hush Dart. That's cool. Unfortunately, we haven't found the shipwreck again. But I guess we're on less of a time limit for that since, you know, Lei's Chan doesn't need oxygen since she's a figure. What are we doing weight wise? We're about half capacity. Proud the drink gun on the shark. 
Ooh. Ooh, he does damage even when he's... Uh, Z button. Okay. Well, that was bad. That was real bad. Think about Toy Story, though. That was based on non-real events. Toy Story is an existential nightmare. And I'm pretty sure in, like, Toy Story 5 or whatever, they actually went into that, about how anything children play with gains in a mind, and just... Yeah. Oh, right, we got to keep our dolphin necklace. Nice. Increases dash speed. Yeah, we'll equip that. Oh, but it used the oxygen faster. That's... Maybe not great. And we do not have a lot of fish for sushi today. They should have stopped at Toy Story 3. Was Toy Story 3 the one where they go to the, um, the daycare? I liked that movie a lot. Ruben's only seen one, but he knew it would be horrifying. Okay, so as always... Got our blue tang. Put that out there. All of it. What else we got? Black and white snapper. We can use half of them to enhance it to be twice as good. Sure, we'll do it for art. The art of cooking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid, fish. It'll be over quick. Electron doesn't know why Disney thought making a Toy Story 4 or even planning to make Toy Story 5 was a good idea. Uh, because most people aren't really that... picky about the things they watch. Sushi made with yellow tang. If anything, it's level two. Oh, we got level three. Better put the pyramid butterfly fish out there. Where's the frog fish? Oh, auger. You can only make one of those. It's expensive, but it also makes people really happy. Speaking of bad sequels, have I seen trailers for Megamind 2? I haven't seen Megamind. Art of Cooking by Honzu. That's our ripoff for the day. It's not very good, but it still costs 15 gold. Let's open. If cooking was sure to result in good food, then you must cook. Oh, yeah, actually. That's, that's some good, uh, good parodying of Art of War. Sorry, I need to kind of focus on this. Run 
around on wasabi if I don't do something about it. I don't want tea after the first bit. Alright, she's got that one on the far end. That seemed like a good night. Do the comedy here, Juice, if that is your real name. The voice in the game sounded like they fit into less. Hey, we made the best profits today that we ever had. Fantastic. It's because of the blue tang sushi. Jesse, you need to cook! I've also only watched like the first two episodes of Big of Breaking Bad. Um, we should upgrade our equipment. Increase our harpoon gun damage. There. Now it'll work a little bit better. We're still doing okay on air. We can't upgrade our dive limit yet. I think that's good enough for now. Weapon shop. Still can't craft any of those. Ruben can supply the funnies for me, yeah. <laughs> Sean Zhu said that. And say he knows a little more about cooking than you do, pal. Because he invented it, and then he perfected it so that nobody could best him in the local cook-off. But mostly he just had to write a book to explain how war works to a bunch of poetry-loving nobles who are like, We want to fight wars! But we don't understand that horses eat a lot, and you need to actually supply food for the horses, or else people aren't going anywhere. You can eat well and still lose weight, because those have no calories, because they're goo, basically. Ha <laughs> ha! More customers every day! I'll be rich! To think something this amazing lay beneath the sea, shocking, this calls for more sushi. Oh, we can deliver that? Okay. Not sure what that does. There is a friend called Jesse, and he has chosen culture and care, and care is just cooking and chilling. Ruben could have also eaten noodles. Yeah, but are your noodles made out of auger and completely devoid of nutrition? It's also, funny fact, the uh, same material that you use to grow bacterial samples in a lab, just in noodle form, instead of squished flat on a plate. Anyway, uh, let's, let's just go. They're made of something, maybe poison. Yeah, they're made of auger. It's like an indigestible plant gelatin, basically. Bacteria like it, though. Alright, there's our stocking up on easy-to-catch fish. Because yes, they weren't microwave safe before. What was it? Oh, I finally put cup noodles in a microwave safe cup. They weren't microwave safe? I mean, I guess the styrofoam maybe leached some chemicals into your noodles, but like, come on, you're eating instant ramen. You know it's not good for you. 
What's what's a little BPH or whatever? BPA. Between friends. And noodle manufacturers. Do children not exist where I am? Oh, wait. It's Sean Mon has decided to rate us. Uh, welcome, party of four. <laughs> we should have room for you at the bar when we get back to the surface. We have some <coughs> to raid. Oh, it's come to raid. Triple Axel. Uh, there's the tab button. Wrong! There we go. Your food now. Ha, stupid. I need to find more oxygen. Cauldrons. Cauldrons? Like a big iron pot that you cook food in? Cauldron? I can't say I've ever seen a cauldron in real life. Reshi, sorry, I did not... Did I just pull a shotgun on fish? I did, yeah. Yeah, it deserved it. I only used the shotgun on, like, really aggro fish. Like these guys? They're getting hit with a harpoon and hopefully caught. Otherwise, just hurt that fish for no reason. Got him. Right Trevally. Well, caught one, might as well catch another. Oof. Oh, those are heavy fish. We're back in the limestone cave. We're gonna hope we don't get blown into the spikes. Good. We're overloaded, and I don't know how to get rid of things. Oh no, this is a giving raid, not a taking raid. So what kind of things do you usually uh, stream, Sean Mon? I should probably just try to get some more fish and get out of here. him. Alright, now we can't carry anything else. Let's go ahead and leave. We're going to know the difference between a giving raid and a taking raid. I don't either, honestly. But I'm not going to say no to a gift. Gift raid. Now we need to find Blaze Chan. Hey, we can build the triple axle. Now we can pull a gun out, a shotgun out, or fish anytime we want. Sean doesn't know either. Just, just making up words. Hoping it works out in the end. Ruben just knows about stealing. A stealing raid where you show up on the British coast. And, uh, the women totally don't just go with you because, you know, you're scared and not because you're, um, actually bathing and take care of your beard. Sean didn't think you would get this far. What, are we on a date? Or even in this world, it's steal or be stolen from. It's a, it's a plant. I don't know, maybe. I don't do a lot of stealing or getting stolen from. I just lose things. Dusky Grouper. As always, we shoot the blue tang. Because they are our best, most affordable type of sushi. It's like 
our restaurant's claim to fame at this point. Some plant. 2010X-ish. Oh! Well, I didn't mean to catch you, Rainbow Rass, but uh, I guess you're on along for the ride, too! Freshy, I thought that's the fish you were talking about last time, but I didn't want to ask. Hey, a baseball bat! Uh, sure, we'll hit fish with a bat. That's not mental or anything. I don't know crabs were the predators of blue tanks. No, I'm just an accomplice for the humans right now. What kind of gun? Oh, it's just an upgraded shock harpoon. I'll take it. Doing fine on weight. But we do still need to find Blaze Chan. Alright, add that to my mental map. Best of luck on the stream. Thanks, Sean Mon. Long distance underwater scooter. Oh hey, thanks for the follow too. I'm live this time most days of the week. Saturday sometimes. don't want to fight them. On the other hand... Hey! Upgraded shock harpoon. We can actually catch the uh, scary yellowfish now. This looks like money. Silver bowl. I don't think we can catch the shrimp, but I'll take a shot at him just in case. Nope. No crustacean murder today. That's weird that we can cut the kelp with our bat. Triggerfish? Like the Splatoon 2 map! Oh no! We can't escape from Splatoon. I need to find more oxygen. I should probably check on that. See if there's oxygen in this box. Sunday and Wednesday, yeah, basically never. I might, I might stream this Wednesday. I don't have anything else planned. Ah, there's oxygen. So we've got an extra reserve tank. Just filled up. And there's the button prompt. That must be the door. Let's try the gas cutter. Dun 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 Oh, this is gonna be a thing. Turn on the cutter and use mouse to move. Keep your movements inside the circle. Gotta concentrate a little bit here. trying to draw one line in Photoshop with only one stroke. I don't like doing that. Oh ho, I was in too much of a hurry to properly tell you how to use it, but you figured it out. Please do, I don't have anything except stream this vacation. You shall not concentrate, Gandalf. That sounds like too much of a, a neg for Gandalf. He ain't about that. Go in through the open door now. Blaze Chan, your master is coming. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. 
Once entering, an event will proceed that will end with you returning to the boat. Let's, uh, let's grab some frogfish while we're here. And then run away, because we don't want to fight that sawfish. Now, ah, whatever. He went up. He, he, he went his own way, you know? You can just uh, keep collecting stuff. Okay, we're almost at our weight limit. Let's just go. You shall not pass, though. Sounds harder to enforce. Alright, we're going in. We're gonna fight an octopus or something. With a baseball bat. Give me that. Huh? The space below seems larger than expected. Take a look around, Dave. It sounds like it's snoring. Sniper rifle. Does more damage. Has less bullets. We're gonna top off our oxygen. Since we're probably not gonna get back to that one anytime soon. It's like a little red shovel-looking thing here. Oh yeah, we also have that extra oxygen tank. And another extra oxygen tank. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. Probably switched to gun. Do I drink the taro tea with tapioca boba or the strawberry shortcake tea with lychee jelly and passion fruit boba? Taro sounds like it's less fake. I would go with that. There it is, the pink delivery box with Lay's Chan inside. Oh, look at him, he's all, ah, he's swooning. Wait, more importantly, look at that giant squid! So that's our culprit. I guess it knows a good thing when it sees it, even if it's just a squid. Taro it is, yeah. It seems we asleep. Uh, sneak up and bring it back quietly. Uh, I've come too far to go back empty-handed. I guess I'll try approaching quietly. And failed. Giant squid. Oh, it's awake! I need to get back! Yeah. Dave, don't tell him you're gonna chicken out. Yeah. Use the gun I gave you. The harpoon will be of no use. Yeah. Please, John, here we come. Oh, okay, so I can't actually swim to the box. I've got a Hmm. Music. Indeed. Okay, where's the other one popping up from? Down there. Power up gun. Lots of bullets. I guess we'll pick up this one. Overall, it's more damage. We just gotta get all eight shots up and hit. Oh! We're gonna save our 
speedy attack. Or, or, oh, that was fast. Was that it? No. got me. I thought the bot middle was oxygen. What the? Sea people! Did I shoot that one accidentally? Wait. Were those sea people just now? Merfolk, crazy. Yeah. No? What do you mean? All I see is the pink delivery box. Yeah, the sea people are just Dave hallucinating because of nitrogen toxicity. Yeah, we'll do that. Bring it back quickly. It's a waiting rescue. Okay, okay. Telling him won't do any good. I'll have to go up and tell Dr. Bacon. Hmm. <laughs> The box is pinned under a squid tentacle. You'll have to cut it away. I wonder if it's edible. I should try taking it to Bonjo. Can't really cut a squid tentacle with a baseball bat, but... Okay, we got it. Yes, that's the one. Come back up to the boat. He is going insane. He'll be better once he gets to the surface. Assuming that the bubbles um, in his blood don't make him want to kill himself. Hey, it's Lace John. Deasu. To think she hasn't been damaged. Oh, there's salt water everywhere. That wasn't cutting, that was putting it into the Shadow Realm. Yeah, he kind of disintegrated a little bit. Splatoon cannibalism. I mean, we do jump through a lot of fried um, squid rings in Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. Yeah. I'll clean you up. Here comes Lay's. Yeah. Whoops, I said Lay's Chan's lying by accident. Now I'm the master. Yeah. Indeed, Dave. Indeed. Yeah. Ahem. In any case, a promise is a promise. Yeah. Here you are, the deep sea headlamp that I forgot I was doing this for. <laughs> Bro said emotes. Wow, that's crazy. You can do emotes with your own face. It's a recent model that turns on automatically as necessary. I must go help Lei's Chan recover. Goodbye, Eternity. I'm kind of wondering why a dude like uh, Duff has black vinegar. He doesn't seem like the, the cookie type. He probably bought a bunch of it by watching, like, after watching a bunch of YouTube videos about cooking, and then, like, decided he wasn't going to cook it, so he's got, like, this whole cabinet full of seasonings that he doesn't use. Not that I ever do that. Never heard of black vinegar before. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly that is either. Come to think of it, I did bring this. What will I do with this giant squid tentacle? Wait, does Dave get paid for his work? Uh, yeah, I think so. At least we get to choose how to spend the money we make at the sushi restaurant on more diving equipment. Mm. It smells so awful. I'm not sure it can be used to cook with. I'll have to give Bonjo a call. Went the deepest we've ever gone. And we got a lot of blue tang meat. And we finally caught a titan trigger fish without having to shoot it, or hit it with a katana, or anything. Hmm. Let's see, can we call Bonjo from here? Yeah. 
<laughs> what is it, Dave? I I was helping Duff, and I defeated a giant squid. That's incredible. I couldn't bring the whole thing, so I cut off a bit of its tentacle. Is this edible, perhaps? Hmm. Of course. Recursive pyramid scheme. It doesn't seem like Dave has to pay rent or eat or anything, so, you know, this is working out. The aluminum chloride that helps it float gives it an awful stench, however. And because it's very tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to customers anyway. Why don't we close up shop for the day and hold a party with the squid? I've been so busy since we opened that I haven't treated you to any proper food, despite your hard work. Wow, that sounds fantastic, except we got that dude coming today. Let me clean up a bit. Come to the sushi bar when you're ready. Dr. Bacon will be there as well, so I can tell him about the fish people we saw. Oh hey, it's also that, uh, that lady is helping us out on cook stuff. That is a very big tentacle. Dave, you're a bit late. Everyone's been waiting for you. He pays so we can get money to pay more. That's kind of what it is, you know, being a business owner. Unwillingly. Tapioca boba kind of tastes like nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, the little boba balls are made of tapioca and they don't taste like anything. That's kind of how they do. Ooh, you finished cooking all the cooking already. When did everyone arrive, though? Hey, scary lady. A party with customs. Customers. There's been a lot of progress. Very good. Yoshia, that's what her name is. Has there? Restaurants should put their customers first. Food, drinks, service, and customers are the basic foundations of a restaurant. In the past, there was only a rigorous chef and his cooking. Um, I was also here from the beginning? Yes, but you weren't very noticeable. He isn't the owner, he is an employee. I mean, he collects the food, he manages the new employees, makes business decisions. I guess Boncho is still the owner. But he doesn't do a lot of ownery stuff. Do you remember what I told you back then? About the reviews on Cook Stuff? Nope. He said there wasn't any real mention of me. But now people do mention you, albeit rarely. Pseudo owner. They're like co owners, but with no contract saying such. Boncho can kick Dave out anytime he wants. Wouldn't be a good business decision. And Boncho doesn't want to make the business decisions, so Dave does the business decisions. So, you know, teamwork. They say things like, He poured me hot green tea. He is working hard preparing the wasabi. He was friendly. He looked busy. Oh? The customers are recognizing your hard work. Well, that feels... That makes me feel good. Yes, an employee that's just powerful. Customers are honest and intuitive, more so than you think. They know if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled, and they react accordingly. That is not how things go in my experience, but, you know, Yoshia, you do you. You gotta believe something in this world. You gotta have faith in something. Who would give feedback that just says he was making wasabi? LMAO. I mean, I could see a way, you know, a teenager posting on TikTok we would be like, lol, he makes the wasabi. Look at him make the wasabi, guys. Because children are cruel. And just watching a guy make wasabi, who, you know, looks like Dave, they would find that inherently funny. You know, I thought, I really thought that, you know, now that we're 20 years into the grim dankness of the 20th century, 21st century, and, like, everyone's fat now, people would stop making fun of people for being fat. And, uh... No, that's not what's happened. Like, that really bothered me when I was working at the school. One of the teachers, he was a cool dude. Taught math and some other things that weren't math, but he got them forced on him. And, uh, yeah, the kids would just make fun of him behind his back all the time, and I hated it. Anyway. Hmm. That's why I find this moment hard to believe. 
to think that obstinate Bombshow is working with people and holding parties. Well, this was just an excuse to cook a really big tentacle for him. No, that's me. I think it's thanks to you, Dave. Mm. That makes me wonder if he was what he was like in the past. Never ask Bonjo about his past. Never. Or even just remembered a funny thing from history class? Share. I can't divulge details about someone else's past. But maybe someday, if the opportunity presents itself, I might be able to tell you. Whoa, ha, Dave, congratulations. Word of Bancho Sushi is now getting around. He looks to be in a very good mood. He also looks like he's been drinking this whole time. Look at this squid tentacle. It's the sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. I'll bet more people will flock here if such things are offered on the menu. Aren't we eating this because it's difficult to serve to customers? You're right. What a pity. Everyone will want to try something that looks like this, regardless of the flavor. Did anyone here have that dream as a child? Yeah, I don't think so. My dreams generally don't involve food. Yeah, I don't think I ever dreamed about eating weird things, or giant things. I guess Cobra's just built different with his banana shirt. Regardless of the flavor, you say. There's no way Bonjo could stomach that. Rush the same. Let's go with something else. Alright, about the depths. I have a feeling there must be things down there. Evil things. Things that'll make people jump out of their seats. If Dr. Bacon's research is successful, this place will be famous and filled with people. Hmm, you're right. When that happens, we'll make tons of money! So let's keep at it, Dave. Let's get rich together! <laughs> I gotta spend all my money on dive equipment, though. Which, I mean, I guess if diving is your hobby, that's a pretty sweet way to spend all your money. Hey, Dr. Bacon. Uh, Dr. Bacon? Oh, Dave, what is it? We... Have no style, we have no grace. I saw the sea people down below. You what? You really saw sea people and not dugongs? What do they look like? Huh, what do they dress? Do they resemble humans? Mm. Um, their torsos look like our. But the side of me scared them off into the depths. I couldn't get a good look. That's too bad. It could have been an amazing find. That means we must encounter them in the depths. That's where the signal is strongest. Perhaps there's even a village. A village? Yes. They have artifacts, murals, a language. They are beings with a unique civilization. It would not be surprising in the least for them to live together in a village of sorts. I mean, yeah, Dr. Bacon, haven't you heard about the uh, octopus village off the coast of Australia? Octopuses don't even, like, as far as we know, have culture. And they still make villages sometimes. Don't tell me they just start eating them. <laughs> well, I don't think we're gonna eat those sea people. Um, Dave... Dave doesn't seem that culinarily adventurous. That would be quite the find indeed. It's already amazing they exist. Take the small victories. An ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed to us. Dave, you're my best hope. Keep up the good work. And Boncho. Mm. A giant squid tentacle. It really is an ingredient that's difficult to handle. <laughs> Cobra will sell them on the menu, though. He would if he could. Anything for money. Suppressing the stench should allow me to reach its essence. What if the essence is the stench, though, Boncho? Like, you know, natto or, um, durian. Power tea is gone now. It's just ice. Everything comes to an end. Nothing is permanent. You're still studying the ingredients. Good work today, bringing back precious ingredients. This is a difficult sort to prepare, but that's part of the fun of cooking. So, how does it taste? Food's always been great, but today's is even more... Spectacular! Since there was a lot of it, I made many different dishes. 
that we won't be able to offer these to customers. He will sail internationally and sell them as, oh, yeah, like a black page of history. Let's hope not. So far we've been helping the sea creatures that are semi-sentient, except for that tentacle monster which we just murdered. But it had Lay's Chan. He was holding her captive, and I guess a sea person too, so... We're gonna try to make some friends underwater. Are we doing a One Piece and selling them to slaves? No. If we get to- if that's how this game goes, I'm gonna stop playing. I've stopped playing games for less. There seems to be no end to the path of the chef. It's a fortunate thing to have a path to pursue. Here, here, Boncho. I'll drink to that. The same can be said of the study of ingredients. Dave, keep, please keep persevering and one day we'll succeed. It's not how it goes. It's probably not. On the other hand, the company that made this game, Nexon, got fined like the equivalent of 8 million US dollars by the Korean government for um, loot boxes that could not contain the things that they said they could contain. So it's not like this is the most uh, ethical company we're dealing with here. But I doubt the game will be as popular as it was. We're just like, oh, uh, yeah, and in the end, slavery. We're gonna enslave the sea people. That's, yeah. I think I would I think I would have heard some um, buzz about that on the internet by now, if that were the case. Oh, by the way, that $8 million fine, the loot boxes that they were selling, they made like $500 million off of those, so... Uh, I wish I didn't know that. Anyway... Pursuing the art of sushi. Not sure what you mean, but sure, I'll bring back more fish. Now what are we talking to? Oh, we're picking up a beer. Dave finally gets to enjoy something other than shooting fish. How come we didn't talk we didn't talk to the cat though? I acknowledge you, cat. I also appreciate you not eating the uh, tentacle next to you. Oof, that's good stuff. Boncho's food is so nice. I can understand the growing popularity of the restaurant. Or maybe it's because I caught the fish. In any case, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Giant squid, sea people. There's no end to the mysteries of the ocean, even if it's dangerous. I suppose I'll go even deeper tomorrow. I wonder what I'll find. Eh, whatever. I'll think about that tomorrow. Time to toast with everyone and rest. A better history thing was something the pseudo-archaeologist said. He wasn't a pseudo as a dolphin is a pseudo-fish. Whoa! Whoa! That's a good cliffhanger, we're gonna stop there. First we gotta talk to Dr. Bacon. A dolphin and a fish. I mean, there is a type of fish called a dolphin. It's also called a mahi-mahi, I think? They have flat faces. They're neat. Good morning. I must have drank too much yesterday. I feel sick. You did seem a bit excited. Haha, <laughs> you don't get gatherings like that every day. That sort of vacation calls for joviality. <laughs> you can't throw up here, Dr. Bacon. <laughs> I'm not the drinker I used to be. In any case, take the deep sea headlamp Duff gave you and try venturing down into the depths. It'll probably turn on automatically when you reach the right depth. And don't forget, You'll have to enhance your diving suit if you want to venture into the depths. No. I'll have to enhance my equipment first, then. By the way, do you happen to have a scuba- no. Aw. Oh. Ah, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Don't even say bye! Oh. <laughs> He's asking me to enter the water after that?
Uh, hmm, some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? Fine. Jellyfish Party, Blue Hole Tourism Committee. Hello, residents. We have finally launched a tourism committee to promote the newly discovered mysterious Blue Hole. Our first event, the Jellyfish Party, we held in three days. If you know any restaurants that serve jellyfish dishes to match the theme, please spread the word. So we gotta catch jellyfish. Uh. Just close my phone. Ho! Oh, a party! What a nice looking picture! <laughs> I guess they're trying to open this place for tourism. I just hope it doesn't get too chaotic. Well, it's a party held on a special day. We just need to prepare for more customers. The mail said the party's theme was jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes should be popular. It's October 15th, so we have three days. Haha! -ha. Make sure to prepare some jellyfish, whatever kind it may be. Let's hit the jackpot! During special events... Special customers arrive during events. Prepare the dishes they like in advance. You might hit the jackpot. Special customers arrive during events. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, look at him! He's got some very nice face body paint going on here. Kind of looks like a color run. You know that thing where you run around a track and they throw powdered like colors at you? Maybe you don't know that. Um, anyway, we're going to stop there. That's going to be the end for right now. I guess next time we're going to catch some jellyfish, go to the depths, serve this guy his um, jellyfish and sea grapes, which are algae, by the way. I was wrong about that last time. But yeah, I'm going to stop there. Y'all have a good one. I'm out for now. Sound's gonna cut out on the game when I uh, start messing with OBS. But I, I'll be back tomorrow with Splatoon. See you on YouTube. Yeah. I gotta make another thumbnail for this. That's like the only thing I have to do any work for with uploading this on YouTube, is making thumbnails. And uh, yeah, I don't put much effort into them, but still some effort. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.